Hey everyone, Tim Schofield here from QBKing77.com doing a video showing how to install the free GS4 ROM on your Sprint Samsung Galaxy S4. This ROM is courtesy of Team Sonic and Clark44, so shout out to them and everyone involved. Uh, I do want to make a note you need to be rooted and have a custom recovery installed. I have twerp on my device at the moment, so you do need a custom recovery. So, first of all, you are going to need to download the ROM file. To do so, click on the link in the description of the video. Clicking on the link in the description is going to take you to this site. As I said, shout out to Team Sonic along with Clark44, so big thanks to him and everyone involved. Go ahead and scroll down, keep going and you will see download right here. Just click on one of these download mirrors and download the file. So click on one, download it. Once it downloads, it'll be a zip file transferred over to your device, either internal or external storage of your Galaxy S4. Once you have it transferred over, you can go back to your device and then we need to get into our custom recovery. I'm actually just going to uh, just power off the device, I guess. I can just hit power off. Shut it down. If you have another method to get into our custom recovery, you can do so. If you have a reboot recovery option, you can select that. Once fully powered off, press and hold volume up the home button and the power button to get into our custom recovery. Press and hold them. Keep it held down until the Samsung screen lights up. Then you can let go once it does. And then it should boot us into our custom recovery, which in my case is twerp recovery. So here we go. Team win recovery. Loads on up. The first thing I highly recommend that everyone does is make a Nandroid backup. So go ahead and press the backup button right there and make sure you have an Android backup. If anything goes wrong, you can restore it through your custom recovery. I already have an Android backup. I just made one. But again, make sure you go to backup and make a Nandroid backup. Uh, also, this installation of this ROM is going to wipe everything, your apps, your messages, your text messages, all those settings, etc. So make sure you use titanium backup or something to back up all your apps, your contacts, etc. Your internal storage isn't going to be wiped, so you don't have to worry about your pictures, your music, but uh, certain things such as your apps or contacts or text messages are going to be wiped and you need to do a factory reset to install this ROM, so keep that in mind. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go to the wipe menu, and uh, you'll see this wipe is a factory reset, it includes data, cache, Dalvik cache, uh, so we're going to need to do that actually, so just go ahead and swipe that and it's going to go ahead and do a full wipe of everything, uh, again doing a factory reset, so keep that in mind, then just go back and then just go up here, go to advanced wipe, and I recommend just redoing the whole thing except go check Dalvik cache system, data, and cache, so the top four, and go ahead and swipe to wipe that as well and uh, we should be good to go. Just make sure everything is clean, then go ahead and go back, go back again, go back again. Now we can go ahead and install the ROM. So hit the install button, and whether you transferred it to your internal storage or micro SD card, mine's on my micro SD card, so I'm gonna press that, and you'll see free GS4 Clark44.zip is right there. Select the ROM zip, wherever you put it on your device, and just hit swipe to confirm flash, and that should be just about it. The installation of the ROM is going to take a bit of time though just because the file size is large so let it run through again you can read the install script if you'd like to it lets you know that you're about to install free GS4 on your device uh, I'm gonna let it run through and I'll be back once it is nearing completion or done if for whatever reason during the installation process the screen turns off don't worry about it just press the power button and it just locks it you can just hit swipe to unlock and, and uh, the installation is still going in the background so if your screen turns off don't worry about it all right and you'll see successful the ROM install is done and that should be just about it I'm gonna hit reboot system and my device should reboot I want to make a note that this first boot up is going to take a bit of time considering it is a clean ROM install it's going to take a while. I want to make a note that uh, it's going to have a different boot animation. I do believe that uh, this ROM includes custom boot animation. I believe from the International Galaxy S4 is the boot animation. So we can check that out. Um, again, as I said, it's going to take a little bit of time to boot up. Uh, I will be doing a full review of this ROM, so be sure to check that out. I'll link to it in the description of the video. So there's that boot animation, not the sprint boot animation anymore. It just got overwritten. Uh, but again, I'll cover all the features in the review video. Uh, this would be how to install the free GS4 ROM. Hopefully this video has helped. Please subscribe to me. I'd really appreciate it. You can also follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links will be in the description of the video below. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.